Hey, this is Spike from DRI, and you're watching Rob 2. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Don't turn that channel. Here we go, man. Fucking A. 560 shows later. Here we are for you guys, bro. I'm really excited for the next fucking shows that are going to be coming out for you guys. Really sorry, my bad about the, the, the headless specter fucking squirrel thing with the cat. Fair warning, that was only a warning for everybody out there who's got uh, pet squirrels. Um, you know, there's cats out there that like pets, that like squirrels shit, so that's... Producers, my directors, my everybody in the, stu in the offices, main offices from wh where this is actually evolved from and where it comes and starts from. Them guys were like, you gotta show this shit, man. This is a public warning. I was like, man, this is, it's making me sick. So, my bad, okay? So, you know, we'll just get past that, because I think we did, huh? Um, my bad, though, again, about that stuff. But, man, yeah, we got a lot of high hopes for this next show, man. Uh, this, this coming up one, this is going to be fun for you guys. Um, we won't talk so much about that for now, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I'll catch up on, on, on that as the show goes along. we got a few minutes here. we got to go ahead and uh, babble for you guys. Since I know you guys like it so much, especially you, and you know what you're talking about. God damn it, this is all for you. Because you told me something not to do, we're going to do it even worse. You either sit there and watch our shows, or you just don't fucking you change that channel, god damn it. And, and, and because of you, people got to suffer. Now... You said what you were watching was I was I was babbling a lot of shit. Well, it, now we're babbling more. This whole show is about babble, just for you. He, he's a, he's cool. It's clothes and shit. Here. He likes that stuff. Uh, that pretty much though summed it down, man. But oh uh, man, we got a lot of cool stuff for you guys. Uh, we got some more cat stuff. Hopefully everybody's not getting sick of the cat stuff. Um, public service also. On top of the public service for the, the squirrel thing, um, the same people who made me and forced me to show that stuff for you guys also has involved me having to show. It's almost like a, a, I have to pay a debt. Sorry, you know what I'm saying? I, I didn't really want to have to say it, but I had to say it. Uh, uh, I lost the bet. Uh, so in order for me to, the payback was for me to advertise these cats. Um, nothing more about that headless shit though, but that, that's besides the point. Uh, the cat footage though, but all the cat footage, that's why we gotta show all the cat footage. All because of, I lost the bet. Uh, but it's good, you know, I think everybody likes cats, right? Fucking cats are cool and shit, you know what I'm saying? Maybe not at one o'clock in the morning and shit, you know what I'm saying? Nah. <laughs> uh, that's Dogs pretty kids. Cool. Yeah, no shit, uh. <laughs> Uh, man, we got all kinds of fuck. I got all kinds of ideas for you guys. Oh, this has been a fucking exciting time for the year, shit, man. Uh, uh, the snake juice is going down good, so fuck, gotta keep that fucking train on and shit. It's been a, a, a whole year since I've been drinking straight snake juice, dude. So yeah, man, everybody's all like fucking back there in the back partying for me and shit. I sit here and drink snake juice. That's what I call it. Is what it is. Straight fucking snake juice, straight from the rattlesnakes in Tucson, Arizona. I have it squeezed out of their fucking teeth, man. They fucking get this, put the piece of plastic on the fucking glass, and then they get the rattlesnake and stick its fangs in this fucking in this piece of plastic. That's and then they, and then the shit fucking uh comes out of the fucking venom and stuff out of its teeth and shit. That's where the name snake juice came from. But there's a lot of stuff added to it though that makes it true snake juice juice. So, we'll make a show about that one of these days. You guys gotta see the way we make this stuff. It's pretty fun. Uh, but that's where all the cat stuff So You know, hopefully everybody likes all the cat stuff. stuff. Um, let me see. We got, like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and talk a little bit like on location stuff. We got some fucking pretty much, I don't know how much minutes of fucking on location stuff, cat stuff for you guys. Um, I guess I can go ahead and say it now, huh? Carrie Wood. Fucking Carrie Wood, dude. I should be wearing my Cubs shirt, but... This, this is a subliminal message for the next two shows. We're not going to say nothing yet. But the next two shows has something to do with Spider-Man. Uh, C2. Rob 2 C2. Right? Huh? Rob 2 C2. Rob 2 C2. That's all I got to say. Uh, Carrie Wood. Uh, 
you know, that's all I gotta say. Cubs, badass, uh, healthy, nice and healthy, nice dumper. <laughs> Kerry Wood, man, fucking, uh, fucking, uh, man. Uh, we were talking earlier, seeing if we, we ever seen Kerry Wood throw the ball for the Cubs. Uh, we're not too sure, but we not. I don't think we never did. I could have sworn I heard his name before at a game, but I could be completely wrong. I'm not too sure. But we got um, we got some footage of Kerry Wood um, in Joliet um, at the Inwood Athletic Club over on Jefferson here in Joliet. There in Joliet. Uh, yeah, fucking uh, Joliet, man. That was fun shit. We got some footage for you of me going down to go uh, get some. Uh, get a, it wasn't an autograph session. It was similar to an autograph session, but it wasn't autographed. It was all just a picture. So we couldn't get autographs. Um, it was all part of the rules. Just a picture only. They ran us through. You'll see all the footage. It's pretty cool. Uh, total behind the scenes. So, uh, you know, this is stuff that you're not going to see every day things and stuff, especially from a collector's and a, a fan's point of view of being a, a Cubs. We'll try to get this uh, advertised so that way we get get some uh, uh, online advertising so we can get the world to see what we do in this world time and lifetime of ours. Our part, this is our part of saying uh, this is our way of giving back. So we got probably about 10 more minutes, right, or so, right? Maybe. So yeah, man, fucking um, Gary Wood. That was fun shit, man. Um, shit. Uh, it was all last minute thing. Let me go ahead and talk a little bit about it. Uh, I think I got some footage here. Here's us all together. I don't know how good that's going to come in, but it doesn't matter. Uh, this will show that. I think that we can get that uh, somehow online because I got this online shit. Uh, yeah, Chicago Cubs VIP game experience raffle. Yeah. Uh, you know, three for ten dollars. The raffle was ten for twenty-five dollars. Twenty-five for fifty bucks. You know, the uh, it was, for then it, uh, all that money went to uh, ATI Foundations. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, good foundations. Uh, ATIFoundations.com for more information. Uh, Facebook.com/slash ATI uh, FNDN. Um, ATI Foundation, that's all I gotta say. Uh, climb, climb for kids. So, ATI. One more time. ATIFoundation.com is more, for more information about this, where we were at with, with Carrie Wood. So, if anybody wants to get any kind of uh, more information about what we were doing, uh, we you can go ahead and probably still screen the shots of, of when I was filming over there because I was filming a lot of the information boards there. It was, uh, you know, part of like like what I'd like to call um, souvenirs uh, yeah we I got the I got the like the the ad out of uh, uh, it was it was uh, the weekly newspaper from March 29 2018 through April 4 2018 now I happen to be looking through this is uh, me former Cubs pitcher Kerry Wood uh, and Wood Athletic Club 3000 West Jefferson Street uh, Jolia ATI Physical Therapy, official, uh, uh, yeah, so, uh, last minute, they, they even said nobody really fucking advertised too much for it, so, uh, last minute I got to see that advertised and, uh, went, went down there early the next morning, got a ride down there and a couple blocks away, had to walk maybe 20 minutes or so, walk in, in a little bit of some snow, uh, of some rain, and, uh, it was cold, but when we got here, you can see um, it was indoors. It was cold. Oh yeah, when you see the footage back, you're gonna see that. Uh, oh yeah, it's a oh, fucking nice place. Oh, it was. If you were homeless, it's the place you wanted to be. They put you like that. Fucking a, right? Oh, uh, indoor, you know. Fucking a, bros. It was fucking so much fun, man. I love doing things like that. Like, like it's been a long time since I got any auto any autographs from anybody famous. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Danica Patrick, uh, should I go ahead, can I, do I got a minute to show a picture of her? If I can show some Danica. Now this is a picture of a number 13 Go Daddy Ed Carpenter racing. So she's going to be racing in Indianapolis 500, so get ready for that because I'm going to be live on location with that. A couple different cameras. Uh, we got qualifying, I don't know if I should say anything right now about this. Eh, fuck it. 
it's, it's just all for Danica. We got more Danica coming in the future because she, she, she's got uh, Indianapolis 500. I got ticket, a ticket for that concert, or for that concert, for that race. Uh, so this is like my only way if I'm going to see Danica, like this is it. We got Slayer coming for you guys. Shit, we got a lot of people like this is it. You know, Slayer, this is it. You know what I mean? Like if you're gonna see Slayer, I told I told my son, I was like, hey man, you wanna go see fucking Slayer? We'll we'll buy the tickets. We just we got tickets. So we'll, I'll buy you a ticket, we go see Slayer, this is it. There's not gonna be no more Slayer. So so like, what do you say, you know? I'm buying it, just go with us, let's go. He was like, hell yeah! So I'm like, fucking hey, badass, let's go. My son finally gonna go to a concert uh, all this whole time. Another picture of the beautiful and lovely Danica Patrick. Looks so pretty here. Uh, but yeah, uh, he was like, "Yeah, hell yeah!" You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we'll probably all sit together and shit. Me and Matt will be hanging out. We're gonna be fucking watching the concert together. If he wants to hang out with us, it's up to him. Hopefully, you know, if he goes runs off, he'll be safe. The place can be dangerous. You know, people get hurt. You know, fucking jumping around and you know, people. Are, fucking rowdy as fuck, you know, I know, because I used to be one of them, I'm kind of still rowdy, but I'm just a lot older, I think, <laughs> uh, over there at Tweeter Center, where the fucking, it's called the world, wait, what's it called, it, it was the world, Tweeter Center, now, Hollywood Casino, Hollywood Casino, okay, so that's what it's called now, but that place can be dangerous, they put fucking, in regular cups like this, or water bottles, or anything, bottles, shit like that, they put dirt in the fucking bottles and shit, and throw the fucking things, so all of a sudden you can be sitting there listening to Rain of Blood, blah, 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 Rain of Blood. All of a sudden you get hit with a fucking bottle full of fucking dirt, dude. A cup full of dirt. Dirt if you're lucky. Yeah, so like, you know, yeah, if you're lucky, a big mound of dirt. Yeah, because that thing comes flying out of nowhere. That hits you. Level shit. Fucking knock you the fuck out. Aw, oh, hell no, <laughs> motherfuckers. Yeah, you never know shit. Fucking crazy sick, psychopathic sick fuckers out there. So... I want to hold this Danica Patrick fucking picture for a little while longer because I really like uh, fucking love the ground this lady walks on, man. Um, I'm all fucking all for whatever she wants to do. You know, a lot of people disagree and shit. You know, totally beg the difference and shit. You know what I'm saying? And, and disagree with everything that I'm trying to like do for her. Man, I'm surprised because some of them people are fucking women and they're like all like. I don't know, like, sometimes I just don't, like, like, get, like, the things I should be when they should be saying, that's great that you fucking back up Danica Patrick and, and like, uh, <clears throat> or more for women thing, right? I'm not getting that. I'll get it like if she's a fucking slut or a fucking whore. It's Danica Patrick, man. Do you guys fucking realize? Does anybody realize? You know what I mean? Let me show this picture of her one more time. Look how pretty this lady is. Can't go wrong. But, uh, okay, those are done. Uh, go ahead, now sit back. Uh, we got some cats, we got some, what, what do we got? Uh, just pre, we got a pre on location shit for you guys. Uh, look at some popcorn, some chips, some soda, some alcohol. If you drink alcohol, highly recommended not to. Don't get started because you don't know when you're gonna stop. <laughs> I wish I could have told myself that like 30 years ago, but I didn't, so. A lot of money spent, long gone. Uh, yeah, just get ready, man. We got, we got some. Uh, oh, oh yeah, so right into all this pre-recorded fucking on-location shit. We're going straight to Kerry Wood. So get ready for that. We got some baseball cups. Season started. They're not really playing that well. It doesn't really matter. Season starting. You know. Uh, hopefully everybody in Arizona. Anybody watching? Tell anybody who watches our show. Anybody back in Tucson, Arizona. Cubs go back and forth to Tucson or uh, Phoenix. So it's pretty cool. Have that connection. Uh, so get ready. Stay tuned for the show, man. It's good to be back. It's good to be free too, don't right? Can I say that shit? It's good to be free. Free is good. Being free, 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 free bird. <laughs> no, just kidding. Uh, drink sodas too. It's good for you. Bye. Uh, film fast coming up isn't it um, we're gonna go ahead and talk about that for a few minutes uh, fucking film fest pretty cool it's gonna be fun Time it never made much sense. And that's who 
Okay, so here at Disc Replay, March 30th, Full Moon Rising. Yeah. 
Alright, go ahead and head over right here okay, there, and then the room pull over. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Alright. You guys just want to stand right here? We have um, a photographer, but we also have an ADI who can take a picture with your camera, your phone. And there's a table for you to get stuff down. Very nice. And again. Yeah. Okay. Same phone? Same phone. Okay. Hi. 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 Here we go, gentlemen. Yeah. Looking good. Okay. One more time. Very good. One here. Alright, we're going to put it down. Thank you. You're very welcome. Thank you. How are you doing? Alright. How are you? Okay, good, good. Here we go, gentlemen. Outstanding. One more smile up there. That's it. Good. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you so much for coming out. Oh, I got you. Thank you. Excuse me. Excuse me. My what? Your red oh. band. You can keep that one. Okay. <laughs> Thank All right. Have a great day. Okay. Thank you. Where do we get the pictures, back? Um, there's actually just some bags right there, and then you can get your pictures online. Do they have one? Do they take one with the phone yeah. or anything? Yeah. Yeah. So they'll be on the foundation or the Facebook page. Oh, take out the information over here. I think I've got it back there, but it's easy to find. Okay, great, great. Can I do this thank you. Oh. Thank you again. No, thank you. Okay, live here satellite over here at HEI Field. You can see the sign. I just finished uh, getting an autograph. It's pretty fun. Um, Gary Wood, 2016 champions. Here we go. But uh, for the most part, I was over here at HEI uh, Football Stadium. Uh, Stadium here in Joliet, Illinois for Kerry Wood. Got an autograph session from him today. It was fun. Um, stay tuned for the rest of the show. I'm just going to get about 10 seconds. Go ahead. <laughs> we gotta go. I'm, and I'm going to say a few Watch words. Okay, this is the as close as I'm gonna get to an autograph Kerwood baseball. So here we go. We're not gonna show the people, but we'll show the ball. This is as close as I'm getting to it. <laughs> you guys have a good one, okay? Look at this. Look at this. Something to me. 
Okay, man, uh, hopefully everybody enjoyed themselves tonight uh, or today around the world. Tell all your friends, tell anybody who possibly can help me out. All I basically want out there from you guys out there and you ladies and you gentlemen out there is for you just to, you know, we do all the work over here for you guys. We, we get out there, we film, we do our part to have all this, all this footage for you guys. Um, you know, we go all out for you guys sometimes. Sometimes. Uh, it's our pleasure. It's my pleasure. Uh, when it comes out of my hands sometimes, you know, I, I do my part. And then sometimes, you know, it's out of my hands. So, when, and when it gets out of my hands, it goes from being, from me, I would say 80, 90% I film. So it goes from me, from I filming, which hopefully everybody likes what I film, and then the, everything that gets put together after that is, that's the, where the magic begins. Because my filming alone is like the worst shit sometimes, I think. <laughs> sometimes I don't even know why, fucking after all these fucking years, and after all these times, after all these... Never ever no letdowns. We never ever had a letdown for anything we've ever filmed or whatever. Never always been successful no matter what it was. Uh, uh, I would say 80% of the time when we've gone out and filmed something for you guys out there or no matter what it's been, we set out and we're ahead knowing this is what we're going to see how, how things come along. This, we're going to go to this event. We're going to film along the way, we'll just see how everything turns out. So, 90%, I would say, or at least 86, 80 some percent of the footage and the time is that we're filming for you guys, it's all pla not planned out. Right? Did I say that right? Okay, wait. Do I want it to be... We plan it, sometimes we don't. So, I don't know what's better for you guys. Planned out shit or um, out of the blue uh, fucking uh, 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 spontaneous stuff. So we got a couple minutes here for you guys, right? About 15 minutes ish. I forgot. Oh, check out the time. But 5, 10 ish. Be done in a few minutes for you guys. Hopefully everybody enjoyed tonight's stuff. Uh, Carrie Wood, that was fun. Uh, uh, I think we got more information for Inwood Athletic Club. Um, ATI. Something like that. I think that was a, that's pretty much about all I want to talk about. That uh, we got to get on for the next shows for you guys. Get ready, man. We got some fucking fun ass stuff. I won't let's say it right now, but in the next five to ten minutes, uh, I'm gonna start making some announcements for the next two shows to be exactly. They've got two hours. 
That's going to be the next show. It's going to be an hour. The following show is going to be a couple weeks later. Another hour. Got a surprise for you guys. It'll take me a few minutes. But for now, uh, thank you for being here tonight. Uh, Carrie Wood, that was fun over there in the fucking Inwood uh, uh, Athletic Club in Joliet. Over on Jefferson. It was fun. Fun as time. Had to do a lot of waiting for that, as you guys can see. Uh, I wish we could have filmed every minute and every fucking second of a goddamn thing, but uh, sometimes we have problems with our power packs and shit, and uh, we, uh, some people tell us we can't film this, we can't film that shit, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, a lot of times when you guys get fucking bored of what we're filming or whatever, well, my bad and shit, you know what I'm saying? But sometimes, give us some credit, man, you know what I mean? Let us know, man, if you want got some constructive criticism and you want to talk shit or whatever and say something that we doing wrong, or even if we did write, we don't give a fuck. We want the fucking, we want the response, people. Um, this is not RC Cola, so it's mixed with all kinds of different stuff. The steak juice, remember I was telling you guys. You know what I mean? I didn't, like, like if, if this was RC Cola, then this was like real soda pop, and, and like, and I went from being a total alcoholic to fucking drinking RC goddamn cola, if my life could fucking end it up to be to that, God fucking help me. Put a bullet to my fucking head. Like that. Shit. Can't believe I just said that. But anyways, man, uh... I didn't think of drinking my snake juice. Anyways, uh, again. Man, thank you for all the help for all the people in the, in the studio, uh, in the offices, who answer our phones, who, ha who do my... Flyers, uh, uh, Matt, badass, fucking uh, Lester, oh shit, fucking Lester rocks, dude. Lester makes a big fucking part of this show, and and if you fucking look close, you can see Lester sometimes in my shows. Um, Want to thank everybody down in Tucson, Arizona, for fucking being a big part of the fucking shows here, man. Marty, Ray, Chris. Uh, if it wasn't for you guys, we would never got our show started and begin with. Uh, Chris and Ray, we were just laughing at the Sith. Uh, if you, uh, the next shows, I think we can go ahead and say right now a few more minutes. Uh, um, how like the Rob to Deep to Sith show ended up being the Sith show because uh, back then, and this was like a long fucking time ago. We're talking like like mid '90s when I was like. My own show, my own TV show, please, please, please help me. Public access times. We were on public access in Arizona. That's how it all started. Uh, I told him, give me a fucking hour. We did the hour, whatever. We're ready to air this show out or whatever. Uh, uh, the guys were like, well, what are we going to call this shit? I said, the Sith, the S-I-T-H, the Sith. A little fucking little uh, uh, a hint of what we got for your next two shows. So... The guys were like, the Sid, now this was under my nose. After I already write, signed the paper, it said, name of the show, the Sid. Now this is what I'm kind of remembering, it's a little cloudy, but out of my hands, went to Chris Duncan and Luis Daniel, and I think maybe Marty, but I'm not too sure exactly, uh, especially Chris and Luis, they took down the footage, they took down the paperwork for my show, the air off for the very first time, looking at the title of the show, when they seen the Sid, they said, fuck no, change it to Rap 2D to Sith Show. Which brings me to my next top topic. Rap 2D2 at C2E2. Right? Did I say that right? Rap 2D2 at C2E2. That's a hint for my next show. Uh, but first off, though, uh, once again, let's close with this show tonight. Uh, Rap 2D2 at C2E2 is for our next shows. Next two shows. For, but we'll have more on that in a few more minutes. Um, Carrie Wood, though, that was fun. And Wood, thank you guys for having a big part of us and letting us film over there. Uh, of course, pretty much I don't think really know, nobody never knew what the fuck we were doing anyways, but it doesn't even matter. But I had to say that anyways. Producers, editors, everybody who has a part of this show, always got to stress to me that I got to fucking always point out everything that we do in this TV show for you guys. Because nowadays, everybody wants to know every fucking step. Well, here's the fucking every fucking step now. Every step, now the next step is in about two minutes, I'm going to go take a shit. Do you want to know about that too? No, just kidding. <laughs> uh, but that was so much fun, man. Carrie Wood, oh my God, the people hanging out with the people. Hopefully everybody enjoyed it. Every, everybody saw themselves. Probably doubt it, doesn't matter. 
uh, maybe somehow, some way, we're all connected, uh, seeing each other down the road. Uh, we can always let them know that they were on TV then, uh, and that will bring me a million viewers, hopefully at that moment, and, and, and at that moment it's going to be right for the moment for me to be having a million gold fucking viral shit, you know what I'm saying? Because right now, if I was to get a million dollar handed me, handed me down to my hands right now, it wouldn't probably be a good thing. I think I probably want to like uh, take some of that money, go buy, eat like a whole sheet of acid or maybe like a whole page, <laughs> just eat that shit up and probably be like, okay, I'm the president, let's go push, let's go push the button, let's just end it all now, now, and then they'll like have to gun me down and then uh, the sharks will have to eat me. We'll talk about that again. No, just kidding. Uh, yeah, C2E2, man. Fucking Rob to D2, C, Rob to D2, and C2E2. Um, get ready, you guys. Uh, man, it was so much fun, though. Everything we've been having so much fun filming for you guys. Uh, mostly me on location. Uh, hopefully everybody's fucking enjoying all the stuff we've been filming for you guys. We've been doing this for you guys for years, so everybody that's barely been watching this shit and starting for your first time, welcome. Thank you for being here tonight. We're looking forward to keep on showing more stuff for you guys that you'll maybe enjoy. No matter what happens in this fucking world anyways, as long as the technology goes and everybody, let's say, falls off the face of this earth somehow evaporates, but somehow we happen to manage to get this so that this show still airs out and life existence as we know it falls off no more. It's all technology. All of this is a thing in the past, so when all the machines are watching how humans function and how humans mean, how they, how we work, they'll never know how it was to be human because they're fucking machines. So fuck you guys and your machine fucking technology shit. You still have no idea how it was and how it is to be human. It's fun. Especially when you're fucking sober. Now I get when I see some fucking dolphins and I see the sunset sometimes, like I want to cry like a little baby. You know what I'm saying? But I think that's besides the point. Uh, we got some fucking concerts we're gonna go to for you guys in the future, man. It's been fucking badass. We're going on location for you guys at all these different places. When you see the past of what it's called, this movie collector's music show, type in on your computers, on your phones, movie collector's music show. Let me say that again. Movie collector's music show. Type that in on your phone, type that in on your computer, no matter what. When you type that in, you're going to see me, you're going to see Rob, type Rob, boom, here we are, here I am, here you will be. Badass, just like that. Um, everybody get a little bit inspi inspired, I appreciate it man, you know, let me know that, that, that maybe, you know, you got inspired by watching something we did on the TV show and here you are, let's say 100 shows later, 50 shows later, we never thought it was going to get off of ground fucking show number one two came along and it was like holy fuck now if you see these early shows and you go back and you want to see early rock to the decision movie collective music show stuff early shit we're talking like number one because keep in mind this is 560 560 shows later you want to go to show number one where it all started to evolve all i gotta say is wow sometimes when i see that shit back i'm like did we have a script for that <laughs> That we, well, how did I come up with that shit? That was fucking pretty fucking funny shit. Can I reuse all of what I've already seen and, and done? You know, make a show of what I've already done, you know what I mean? That was just like a funny topic. Can we make a topic out of my topic? Does that make sense? Thank you. So, anyways, a few more minutes for you guys here, man. Hopefully everybody enjoyed themselves tonight. Um, don't overeat out there. Get your animals spaded and neutered. Um, Make sure, you know, when you go and date somebody out there, whether female or male or whatever, um, you get to know the person a little bit before you get to, you know, before you jump into any conclusions as far as sex, um, marriage, commitment, money. <clears throat> you never know what that person is or who that person is, who you fuck you're talking to and behind closed doors or anything like that. I don't know why the fuck I even said that. Maybe it's like subliminal. Somebody's thinking that for me to say and they fucking possess me to say it. Uh, uh, we got some fucking shit coming up for you guys here to show Mrs. Danica Patrick one more time because she's so pretty and we were showing her earlier and I love Danica. Uh, uh, I really don't care. We had an agreement 
and she'll probably still want to kick my ass and sue me, but when she said after she's done with her fame and glory, after she turns like 40, 41-ish, we're supposed to get married. What, what can I say? Now, I should have got footage of that and shit, that shit written on paper, but I didn't, so forgive me for all that. Uh, so, yeah, thank you for being here tonight, man. A uh, couple more minutes here. We're going to fucking go ahead and end up the show. Uh, er thanking everybody. We think we did that part. Uh, but for the last words for you guys, listen to this. Next two shows, Rob2D2 at C2E2. That means I was at a comic convention, okay? There was a big comic convention here in Chicago. We got a two-day show for you guys over there. It was a Friday, Saturday, and Sunday weekend of comic book convention. C2E2. Fun ass shit, man. All fucking we had. I was. It was badass. That's all I gotta say. Rob to D2 at C2E2, man. It's gonna be the fucking 560 fucking 61 shows in and later. Almost in the books. Uh, we got that for you guys for the next show. So stay tuned, man. We got all kinds of fucking footage for you guys. Please do not fucking just. Don't like this disown me because of something that we showed or whatever. A lot of times when we show things, we're not in showing because we want to insult people and say the wrong thing or freak people out or whatever. It's all in best interest for you guys. It's public service and shit, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm public servicing for the sharks out there. When I die, like I'm going to feed myself to the sharks. You know what I'm saying? Like that's my choice. Like I really hope that I don't get arrested for that. And they're going to be like, you're arrested, Robert. Castration, double castration. I'd be like, all I want to do is go get fed to the sharks, motherfuckers. I want to die. I'm dying. I'm done. This is it. Sharks need to eat. I think they can if I can get a little bit of meal out of me. So anyways, thank you for being here tonight. You guys stay tuned for the next show. So a couple weeks, whatever. We're going to have some uh, more extra new stuff for you guys. C2E2 comic convention. I was there. We got a lot of people, a lot of girls over there. Guys, get ready. You're going to love that shit. Girls, you guys are going to love that shit too, man. A lot of girls were so happy when I was filming them and shit, dude. Oh my god, please. Nobody take nothing what we do out of here in offense or offense, please, okay? It's all done in public services. You know what I'm saying? You know, people tell us, this is what we want you to show, okay? This is for you guys. This is for all for public service. So, I think we're about done with this shit. Bye!